All right, I'm going to walk you through the three main ways that you invite and add users to your AstroPrint for Fleets platform. So before we get started uh, with adding users, you, uh, you may want to come to your users tab to view the users that you have on your platform. Uh, you can, of course, also come and see which groups that they're in and what are their roles for each of those groups. And you could add and modify any of that here. Now to add users, uh, come to the invitations tab. There's three ways to add them. Uh, you can create an invitation, you can upload a CSV file, and you can add users by SSO. So I'll show you all three here. Creating, creating an invitation is really easy. This is when you're inviting uh, just a, one to a few people at a time, uh, and you simply come in and uh, type uh, your email address and then hit enter to then type in another. You'll see you even get a notification down here to press enter for more. So don't copy and paste 100 email addresses here by uh, with commas between them because that won't work. So then once you've typed in the email addresses of people that you want to invite, you simply hit enter, they will get invitations and they will show up under your users tab. So you could come here and change the group and roll for them even before they accept the invitation. Uh, otherwise they will be added to your default uh, role and group, which I'll talk about here in a moment. The next way uh, to uh, import users is to uh, upload a CSV file. Now, the format you're going to want to use is to have a header of email, name, group, and role, and then as many folks as you want to add underneath here. A couple things to keep in mind. If you leave the group and role blank, that's fine. They'll all just be assigned to your default group and role. No problem. Uh, you can assign a user to multiple groups. You can see here we have Daniel in twice. Uh, once we're putting him in the group of general students as a super admin, we're also putting him in the printer lab two group as a lab tech. So you can easily add people in multiple groups uh, and then different roles in different groups um, as well. The other thing to keep in mind is to not use the name of your group or your role, but use the ID of the group and the role. So I'll show you how to get those right now. The groups, get your group ID, we come to groups, and then for your group, hit edit, and you'll see right here at the top your ID for the group. You can even hit the copy button here. Uh, to speed things up. Now for roles, come to roles, and it's just as easy if, we, if you come just to the right of the name of the role, uh, you mouse over that icon and you'll see the ID down below. Here's a lab underscore technician. And you can also click this uh, copy button here to copy it. And yeah, and once you have all that together, then you simply upload that CSV file with this button and all your users uh, will be invited in specifically to those groups and roles. Now, if you're using SSO, which a lot of larger organizations are and universities, you come down to settings, your SSO will be configured here on the right. Uh, you probably either have Microsoft, Google for Education or SAML2. Uh, and then on the left here, you set your default group and your default role. And then anyone that comes here through your SSO portal, uh, an account, if they've never been here before, an account will be created for them and they will be put in this default group and role. So for example, university often has a student role that has very limited permissions. So if anybody logs in, they won't actually be able to access the printers, then they have to be moved up into uh, a higher role uh, to have more functionality. Well, there you go. That's the three ways to import users. Uh, simple and easy. If you have any questions, please reach out to our sales team. Thanks.